The American hearse, the ultimate vehicle to transport the deceased, on their final journey. Let's take a closer look at the American hearse. No American automobile manufacturer builds hearses at the factory. General Motors has no hearse division. Neither does Ford, or Chrysler, or, for that matter, Honda, Mazda, or Toyota. Instead, most hearses are handcrafted by companies that take the bodies of existing cars and customize them, making them longer and adding special purpose parts. Let's look at how this process works. Although some industries moved decades ago to using trucks as their base vehicle, hearse makers prefer to use luxury cars from companies like Cadillac, Lincoln and Buick. To turn a luxury car into a hearse, the electrical system, and all vital fluid lines are removed, and a circular saw is used to cut the car into two halves, a front half and a rear half. These two halves are then fitted onto a longer chassis, often supplied by the original manufacturer, and overlaid with a shell, that connects the front half with the back half. The shell is painted to match the rest of the vehicle, the electrical system and fluid lines are reattached, and now the car resembles what we think of as a hearse. But the custom build isn't quite that simple. A number of internal and external features are added in the process too. A long platform is placed inside to hold the casket. This has rollers on top of it, so that the casket can slide in and out through the rear doors. Beer pins allow the casket to be fastened in place, so that it won't accidentally roll while the hearse is in motion. Curtains, are also placed on the windows that run the length of the hearse. These come in two different styles, formal drapes, made from a velvet-like material and hung in arches, like the curtains on the sides of a proscenium-style stage, and airline drapes, which hang straight down, for a more modern look. The latter style is the newer of the two styles, having first appeared in the 1950s. The largest manufacturer of hearses in the United States today is, Aguebuilt of Lima, Ohio. Over the years a number of major hearse makers have merged and are now part of Accubilt. These include Superior Coach, Millimedia, and s and &S, names that will be instantly recognizable to anyone interested in funeral hearses. Accubilt currently builds 60% of the hearses used at American funerals. In fact, Accubilt supplied the hearse for the 2004 funeral of former President Ronald Reagan as well as the limousines for his funeral procession. Other hearse makers include Wolfington Body Company, and Benz Hearses. The latter builds hearses on the Mercedes-Benz chassis. So, how much do handcrafted hearses cost? Well, if you must know, they're available new, and can cost upwards of 60,000, used vehicles are readily available become part of the hearse owning community. One way or another, a hearse will take us all, on our last journey.